Hey guys, Chris here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to import photos from a DSLR or an iPhone using image capture. Um, so what you're going to first want to do is plug in your iPhone or your camera. And if it's a DSLR, once you plug it in, uh, turn it on and you should get a uh, pop-up um, that all it could be from iPhoto, could be from um, some other application. Um, you can, I normally just close it out. Um, and what I do is I go in here and go to applications and I go to an application called Image Capture right here. Um, you can use iPhoto, um, but I prefer just Image Capture just because, um, I don't know, just something I'd rather do. Um, so I open it up and you see it's picked up my Canon Rebel T2i. Um, so these are photos from my son's first day of kindergarten. Um, I've already imported them, but I'm going to show you how I would have done it or how I did it actually. Um, so what you can do is you can either choose this option, import all, and that's just going to grab everything that's on the camera, or say you want just a couple of these photos. So let's say I just wanted like these first eight. So I can click and hit the command button, hold it down, and I can click on each one individually, or if you click on the first one and then hold down shift, click on the last one you want, it'll select them all. Um, so let's say I'm going to put this on my desktop, um, but say I don't want to use this folder. Um, what I can do is I can go here to other. Well, if I want to put them on desktop, I could, but I kind of want to keep them in a folder instead of just having a ton of images on my desktop. Um, so I go to other and I can make a new folder. I'll click on my desktop and then let's just say we'll call this a uh, test folder just for fun. So we're going to create that and then we're going to choose that as our test or as where we're going to import our photos. And then we're going to simply going to click down here on the left. Again, if you're choosing all of them, you don't have to select one. You can just hit import all, but I'm going to do just those first eight. We're going to click import and it starts going through the process of importing those images. And then if I click on the test folder here, you'll see them coming into that folder. Uh, you'll notice the CR2 and JPEG different types. Um, kind of like duplicates. CR2s are basically kind of like the raw files. They're a lot bigger. You can see 24.9 megs where the JPEGs are, um, I believe, much smaller. Yeah, 7. Um, so the CR2s are good for editing in like Photoshop or um, uh, any of those other um, kind of hardcore photo editing applications. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. And then if you wanted to remove these images, say, off the uh, camera, you can click on this little uh, button here and that will remove them off the camera. It'll say you want to permanently delete them and you can say delete. I'm not going to mess with it right now, but um, that's pretty much all there is. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and let me know if there's other guides or videos you want me to make to help show you how to do something. I'm always happy to help. Um, so again, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.